This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. All right, well, good morning, everybody. I was going to talk about blood gases really quickly, and specifically uh, ABG versus VBG. We use blood gases for several things in the ED. We're trying to figure out, you know, patient's acid-base status, kind of see how acidotic they are, their pH. It can also really help us with someone's ventilatory status, like their PCO2 and whether they're retaining carbon dioxide. Um, we can use it to get rapid electrolytes, lactates, so they're pretty helpful. And, you know, I'd say we're pretty lucky to work in a place where venous blood gases are fairly well accepted, but there still are places where ABGs are much more common and, you know, VBGs aren't really well accepted. And, you know, VBGs are pretty easy to get. You know, we draw them just like regular uh, other venous blood samples, whereas ABGs can be very difficult to get. They can be painful for the patients. They can cause some complications like hematomas or radial artery problems. So there's been some small studies that have looked at, is there any difference between the results you get with VBGs and ABGs? And is it important. And there was another recent study that tried to compare this and it was interesting because it was actually done in hypotensive patients, which are kind of the sicker patients where, you know, the differences might matter more. And uh, they basically took all the patients that were getting ABGs and then they also did a venous blood gas and compared the two. And, you know, the study was another study that showed that venous blood gases are great. There was over like a 95% correlation between the things that mattered, like the pH, PCO2, the electrolytes. Um, and the only things that that differed were the things we expected. Uh, venous blood gases can't tell us oxygen saturation or the PaO2, but that's not why we're doing it. So this is another study that kind of confirms, I think, what we do here of using VBGs primarily. And if, you know, you get pushback from somebody who say, well, you know, you send an ABG to get a real pH or PCO2, there are good studies that show that uh, venous blood gases are totally fine and probably way better for the patients. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division, and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.